Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, I am so thankful that you take the time to share God's Word with us and listen to what God tries to tell us through His Word to keep us on the right track. I couldn't help but think of a verse there in uh, the book of 2 Timothy where Paul told his son in the faith, he said, the Word of God, the Scriptures given by inspiration for us by God, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Now, if there's ever a chapter in the Bible that fulfills all those things, it's this chapter, Psalm 78, written by Asaph, written in the time of Hezekiah, the king of Israel, Isaiah the prophet, and it's warning the people and telling them as he recounts the history of the nation of the things that they have failed in and how they they need to trust the Lord. Don't be like your rebellious fathers. And so in verse 8, that they may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set their heart aright and in whose spirit was not faithful to God. Don't be that way. And God's saying the same thing to you and me today. Now what we're going to do is read this history. And I'm going to be reading a long passage today, but I'm committed as we go through Psalms to read reading every verse as we do these chats. And so now in verse 9 and through 11, he points out the apostasy of Ephraim. Ephraim is the northern tribe, uh, the tribe that is generally called Israel, but here he calls them Ephraim. And we'll write about that in our chat today, and I hope you'll read what we write in our blog. And so he says, the children of Ephraim, or the northern tribe of Israel, being armed and carrying bows, they turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God. They refused to walk in His law, and they forgot His works and His wonders that He had shown them. And uh, they were always somewhat of a rebellious tribe that caused problems for different leaders of Israel. And they were the ones that broke off of the kingdom of Solomon after he died and uh, divided and started their own little nation and caused uh, lots of issues. But they left the Word of God. They left the truth of God's Word. They followed the, the Jeroboam and did that which was evil in the sight of God. Not one king, not one good king was uh, it, it followed in their tribes after, after the division of the nation. And then in verse 12, He's now going to look at the sins of the nation in the wilderness. Marvelous things he did in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and he caused them to pass through and he made the water stand like a heap. So he's taken them out of Egypt. And then in verse 14, in the daytime, he led them with a cloud and at night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of the rock and caused the waters to run down like the rivers. And so he's going through now what happened is they came out of Egypt and the nation went into the uh, wilderness and begin their wilderness journey. God provides for them and does all these wonderful things. But in verse 17, but they sin even more against him by rebelling against the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their heart by asking for food for their fancy. Yes, they spoke against God. They said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, he struck the rocks so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide meat for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this and was furious. And so a fire was kindled against Jacob and anger also came against Israel because they did not believe in God and they did not trust in His salvation. Yet He commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down man on them to eat. He gave them of the bread of heaven. Men ate angels' food. He sent them food to the full. He caused an east wind to blow into heavens and by His power He brought in the south wind. He also rained meat on them like dust and feathered fowl like the sand of the sea and he let them fall in the midst of their camp and all around their dwellings so they ate and were well filled and he gave them their own desire and they were not deprived of their cravings but while the food was still in their mouth the wrath of god came against them and slew the stoutest of them and struck down the choice men of israel and in spite of this they still sinned and did not believe his wondrous works well, we'll stop there in verse 32. 
But you get the idea. He's pointing out how God sometimes gave them what they wanted, but he sent leanness to their soul. He gave them what they wanted, but it was not what was best for them. And my friend, we've got to be careful for that too. Well, God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.